how uh, can Gen AI can create competitive advantage? Well, uh, here uh, we have an emergence of what I believe an important new way of doing that. Now, of course, all of you have thought of using these tools to increase revenue, maybe to decrease cost. I think some of you might have thought of using them to reduce risk, that is, get more or less the same revenue at more or less the same cost, just with a with, with lower risk. But there is a completely new way to benefit, which is what I would call scale. And the reason I would call it scale is the following, is that studies have shown that of all the decisions that people make, so let's think of the 10,000 decisions that you would make, right? About 2,000 of them would be no-brainers, right? They're really not worth thinking about. About 1,000 out of 10 is those that are worth thinking about. And then there's the rest, the majority, 7,000, are those which, are, which, which you could benefit by thinking about them, but the consequences are too small. That is sort of the economics of applying human intelligence is just not worth it, right? These are, and realize that this is the majority of decisions. Now, an example would be, for instance, should I go to the gym today, right? And realize that nothing much will happen if you go or not go to the gym today, right? So people have created a variety of, decision scientists have created a variety of ways to improve those decisions, such as thinking about the concepts. For instance, not gym today, but rather should I be going to the gym as a routine, let's say three or four times a week, right? That now matters, right? Every week, three, four times, right? But what can AI do, right? AI decreases the cost of intelligence. And therefore, some of these decisions that are not worth of applying human intelligence may be worth of applying AI intelligence. As an example from the business context, Walmart recently created an AI tool that they used to negotiate with some of their vendors, negotiate contract terms with some of their vendors. And naturally, they are applying this tool to small contracts. That is, those where a, a human buyer, a specialist at Walmart, right, would not necessarily pay much attention, right? And uh, a fascinating fact is that the vendors themselves are also preferring to negotiate with AI rather than with a human. Now, my intuition is because they get reply from AI faster. And again, imagine that, right? If you are a buyer at Walmart and you have, let's say maybe you're, you're working on 50 different vendors, of course you would naturally allocate more of your effort or attention to bigger contracts. That is why the smaller vendors may take a long time to reply, you know, and, and uh, kind of, uh, uh, again, that's this small consequence example, right? AI can help a lot in expanding the intelligence. And that's what I, why I'm calling it scale. Right, scale, we can apply intelligence in more situations. That's a new way of benefiting from this type of technology.